All right, guys, we're working on our Brahms breakfast burrito, and the sausage is done. It's done. Everything is chopped, and mm -hmm. now we've got to get to our eggs. Yes, there we go. What temperature would you like the eggs? I would say probably like a... Medium? Medium, medium. yeah. Don't want to scorch here's them. Here's the thing. I got six eggs. How many do we think we need for a uh, burrito? Oh, goodness gracious. You know I should have brought? I didn't think much of this. Butter. Oh, butter do you butter want, for the eggs. Do yes. you want to go... I got Pam, but I don't have... Oh, do we have Pam? Yes. Well, we might have to. I just love butter so much. Well, that's something G learned from uh, one Gordon Ramsay, was to put like like chunks of butter in your actual egg. That's what I do! That's yes! What, okay, I do. Hey, Miss Kaylee, if you have time, could you get butter out of Studio B fridge, please? My friend, I'm so sorry. I wouldn't even think it. You told me we were making eggs. I saw the eggs this morning. And guess where my brain didn't go? Not to butter. Not, not to, to butter. Not to butter. Not to butter or not to butter. That, that is, is the, the question. question. Uh, do you want more eggs? You think three is enough? It's uh, whatever you think. I don't know. Again, we have a tendency to overstuff, so. I know. Maybe we start small. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. But we're gonna add the butter in here, right? Yes, I like to. That's, I really do do that all the time when at home. Chunks of butter and it melts as you they cook. And it makes it's, it so good. Okay, I'm gonna add so one more delicious. egg. It just doesn't. Seem it's like just enough. so delicious. Delicious. Dorinda. I, Dorinda. And by the way, I've been eating the sausage. Uh, you stop. We gotta make our. Actually, you know what? There's more than enough. You go. By the way, it. this is way more than we need. Than we needed. They just don't make many sausages, you know. Okay, I'm pulling out this one just because. Oh, wow. It's short and stout. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't even take it out. Of the, I literally got it yes. and put it in the fridge. Here is our Brahms burrito. I'm just gonna be a little sneak peek. Look at this. Here's what it's gonna look like, and it does look very stuffed. We're gonna heat this up in the microwave and do a side by side comparison. I'm gonna see, oh yep, they did the double fold, okay. Sorry. And, Jeremy, yes. I came across a TikTok yesterday. It showed you how to fold a burrito. So, you tuck in the sides, mm -hmm. then you pull over far, then you tuck in the sides again, and then roll it back. Girl, you're talking like I don't know how to roll a burrito. So of that's course how you I do. do it? Yes. Okay, I wasn't I've, sure. I was trying people, to remember. When I have rolled egg rolls or burritos on the show, people thought I've worked at Taco Bell. Okay. Yes. You are there basically is a way an to extension of Taco Bell. And catching the butter. And for egg rolls, yes. But here's the thing, though. I do not approve of the way Taco Bell rolls their burritos now. Uh oh. What? Because they used to leave one end open, but now they fold both ends. I liked to when they folded one end and le left the other end open. Uh huh. You squeeze all the goodness to make it fill the whole thing, and then there we go. Oh, that looks so good. I prefer the single rolled burrito at the bottom, not both rolled at both sides. That's just me, the personal preference. Okay, I like okay, that's you. very hot. Honors, there you go. Ooh, and I did bring salt and pepper. Nice. Well, I, let's add a little bit of that in there. Okay, I'm gonna grab this little thingy. Okay. That's a very hot pan. There we go. Oh yeah, that is. That's cooking nicely. That's a very nice hot pan. There you go. Okay. Go for it. A little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt. Yes. Come over here. I don't want to toot my horn, but I do enjoy rolling burritos and egg rolls. You do I it, because really I can never make mine. Mine always come apart. <laughs> and then, basically, um, we've got our pepper jack cheese. So all the stuffing will just go into the burrito. There's no putting the cheese in with the eggs right now. Okay. Perfect. So, we'll so you can get our assembly line going. Yes. I like to gently fold. And I might go on to, because that's a bigger area for yeah. the tortillas. Yes, and let's put this, you know what I thought we could do on this? What? Take it out, put it on a plate, cut it in half, and then heat it up so it heats it more evenly. Yeah. Is that okay? For sure, here, I can go yes. ahead and do that Yep, now. there we go. Cut that at a slight angle. Okay. And then we will um, pop that in the microwave to get it nice and warm to do our comparison. Oh, these eggs are looking amazing. Ooh, let's see what this inside looks like. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh gosh. Oh man, I just messed it up. No, there, hold it right there. Perfect. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing. That looks so beautiful. What are the chunks of things? Is that the egg? I think that's oh, the egg. Oh, there's egg, yeah. yeah. Oh goodness, see ya. I thought at first it was like, <gasps> are there potatoes in that? No, oh my gosh. I was like, what? How could I forget the potatoes? Some breakfast burritos do put potatoes in there. Oh gosh, and it's so good. It's it is really so true. good. Okay, you want to wait to heat this up until we're ready. Yes, to let's. Yes, correct. But that's a. That, oh my gosh. You're doing so well folding the I eggs. I fold the eggs. Jeremy. I like them to be fluffy. Fluffy. Do you think the butter adds the fluffiness to them, or is it the way you? Well, fun fact. When I'm at home, I add the eggs, salt and pepper, and a little over a dash of heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah. Whisk it. Add the chunks of butter, and then fold the eggs. Oh my gosh. That that's how I make them at home. 
I unfortunately have experienced some of the worst egg making in my life due to now an ex-boyfriend. He would chop them up so fine that literally the chunks were like, you couldn't even chew them. They were so tiny and they were dry. So dry. Do you, okay, I don't know if it's appropriate right now because we're getting ready to eat. Do you want to hear a gross breakfast burrito story or no? Um, maybe off air? From my aunt? Maybe I on mean, air? No, it's really? not just for the viewers, but okay, I, didn't know if okay. you were, I didn't know if you would get grossed Let's out. Let's do it. My Aunt Bonnie, when everybody, we moved from Dodge City to Texas, so my Aunt Bonnie and her family moved one of the first. They're staying in a, an apartment. And we go visit my Aunt Bonnie, and she was making some scrambled eggs like a, for a breakfast burrito. Yeah? She didn't realize that, um... No. The eggs were bad. A cockroach had fallen into the eggs. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> true story. Yeah. Hashtag Aunt Bonnie, true story. Aunt Bonnie! Ate a cockroach. I'm just... Did you eat a cockroach? I didn't, she did. Oh, ew! She was like, what's this crunchy? No, oh my gosh. How big was it, like tiny? Did I you... don't know. Oh gosh, Aunt Bonnie. Oh my gosh, okay guys. That scares me. Okay you guys, we're gonna be back. We're gonna see our clone cooking skills match up to Brahms right after this. Oh, oven. egg down, egg down. There How do you not notice a brown thing in a yellow pool I... of egg?